did you bring a new slant to the character and how did you really... Well, we talked a lot. Um, the director was very interested in charismatic prophets which are uh, these the sort of leaders who have cult, cult leaders really, and how they, um, they are able to generate such a, a loyal following when clearly from the outside it's, it's really rather hateful. And this includes people like Mussolini and Hitler, and, and that's touched on in the play as well. And so we were sort of studying their behavioral patterns, and it seems that Brody, Gene Brody's character, has a lot of these um, patterns that these cult leaders um, display. And, uh, and so we sort of looked into that. But apart from that, it's written beautifully, and you just have to go with the, the truth of the story, which is this um, rather wonderful woman who is slightly allowed to indulge herself too much, and, um, and it's the consequences of that, really. The play is set in Edinburgh. What's yes. it like performing the play in its, in its hometown? It's fantastic. Um, we, we have so many references in the play to Edinburgh. Uh, things like John Knox and the National Gallery and Kostorfin and um, Crammond. And, uh, and literally, as you go to the Assembly Hall where it is, there's a big statue of John Knox in the courtyard. And when you turn around, you look outside and you can see the National Gallery. So. And it's wonderful because the Edinburgh audiences really respond to that and you, you kind of know when they're in because they're always laughing at the little um, at the references. And it's wonderful to walk around the streets and you, you almost think that she was real. I, I have to keep remembering that she's just a work of fiction, but uh, it feels very, very real when you're here. It's beautiful. And of course you're working with a, a younger cast as well, the girls that play the school girls. Yes. What's it like, you must be in, in, in their eyes almost a matriarch of somebody who's come to the stage and done very well. It is quite peculiar. Well, I mean, there are, there are four main girls and they are actresses in their sort of early 20s. But then we've, um, we've got about 15 other young, young girls who are aged between about 10 and 18 and they're from various schools around the Edinburgh area. And um, yes, it, it's suddenly you're, you're standing there and you think, gosh, I could be this teacher. <laughs> And you don't, you know, you don't, well, I, I don't feel a responsible human being to, <laughs> to try and guide young children, but suddenly they do look at you and you think, gosh, I am a, a grown-up lady to you, but I'm not to myself. So. <laughs> it's the story of uh, a rather unconventional teacher in the 1930s, Edinburgh. Um, she's teaching in a very conventional girls' school. And um, she's this sort of magnificent creature who um, is devoted to her, her young girls. And it's, it, it's her vocation to lead these young girls into a womanhood of, of, um, of nobility and grandeur. And um, her history lessons are peppered with tales of her own holidays in Italy and uh, uh, tales of her romances and, and wonderful sort of romantic. And then you sort of see see the, her story progress and how maybe she affects the girls in maybe not so wonderful ways and um, how that affects them as, as they grow older and, um, and with her own sort of um, heartbreaks and her own issues that, that she, she doesn't really behave very well with the young girls. But.